Okay, so today we're going to learn a few things, but basically the goal is to learn how to post a discussion to your class so students can post their response to the discussion and also respond to one another. So the way you're going to do that is you're going to go to your courses, you're going to select the course that you want to post a discussion for. Uh, you don't have to do it, you can do it from your sandbox course, right? And um, there you go. So this is Sandbox Course is a place that you could play without having a live assignment posted. And you're going to go to your grade book and uh, then you're going to have your other assignments here. Uh, and so you are going to go to add. OK, so you want to add a discussion. So you go to the plus sign over here. This is where you add an assignment. Um, this is where you add a test or quiz that a student can take in Schoology. And this is where you add a discussion. And the title of the discussion is going to be cell phone argument, just for the title of the assignment, okay, uh, cell phone discussion, okay. And I've already written a question, and here's the question. Do you think our new cell phone policy has been effective in improving student engagement and on-task participation in class? Use anecdotal evidence to support your claim. So actually, it's not my question. It was actually a question that Edith came up with because I said that last year I had several students who seemed very shy of participating in an online forum. And the students who did participate were the better writers in a kind of a lower level English class. So uh, I think that it was, I dove into actual content and that was maybe a little bit too overwhelming. So this was a question that, um, that Ms. Smith came up with that would help, you know, with students just to kind of participate in a discussion still with uh, with our instructional focus of an evidence-based claim. It also gives us the chance to talk about the difference between anecdotal evidence and evidence that you would be able to use as part of a research project. So then the next thing you're going to do is create a due date. So let's say it's going to be due two days from today. You're going to go to enable grading, okay? Uh, you could just make a numeric, give it a give it a, a number of points up here, in which case you would do that right there. You'd say how many points it is. Um, you could create a rubric for here if you wanted to. Uh, you might already have one, online discussion. I've got one there. I could just use that right now. Uh, and, if you, and now I'm going to show you also how to align it to a learning target. Okay, so uh, I actually made a learning target for this. You can use Oops, let me go back. Right here you can see there's Common Core. Uh, if Common Core doesn't cover the things that you'll be teaching in your class, then you can create some of your own. Uh, and we can show you how to do that a different day. But if you are using uh, mastery grading, then you should have these uh, learning objectives added in. I created one. I put it under personal and I'm going to add it now. And it's added. You can see it's green here. There's a check mark here and it popped up down here. If I want to add another one I could, but I'm not going to right now. So now uh, I'm going to, again, I could still just give it points. Did they do it or did they not do it? But I am going to create a rubric from this, okay? And so uh, for, for the rubric, I'm going to use, I um, can go to create new and I can call it cell phone or this one I'm not going to tie to the assignment because I'll probably use this again and evidence uh, claim, I'm going to give it a funny title because I've been playing with this for a while and I'm coming up with duplicate titles now, evidence claim slash, oops, slash discussion. Okay. And this says students will make a claim and support it with at least two pieces of evidence and post it to the discussion board. They will also respond to at least two other posts in the same discussion. This is important because when students go to the university level, they are going to be asked to do this. This is usually how discussions are used. Not that you just post your response, but that you also interact with your classmates and respond to that as well. So you're going to pick whatever number that you would like to have them do at that point. Now you could add another learning objective if you have one, you know, if you you have ones that you're using. You might also just add a criteria, and I'd like to show you this. So for example, I'm going to get rid of all of these other little fields just by pressing this little X that you can barely see over here and have at one point, although I'm going to take out needs improvement, um, you know, I'll just put in completed. And um, I'm going to put um, something like, let's just put courtesy. I think there's probably a better word for it. But, you know, then I could add something like students will respond with courtesy you know, uh, to other 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 people's posts, you know, and I'm not going to complete that all here, but it just says you you can set whatever tone you want for that discussion so that it's very clear what the parameters are. OK, and now we have that and we press create and that's done. So we've created a rubric. 
Um, and you can see here, I've got a lot of these rubrics that just keep evidence claim discussion, online discussion. I've done this a few times to make sure that I know what I'm doing here. And uh, now I just press create and the assignment is there. Okay, whoops. What did I do? Oh, the category, right. I don't have categories for uh, for my sandbox course. I do have for the classes I teach. And again, that's something else that we can show you how to do it another time if you don't already know how to create those categories. Now I should be able to create it and it's there. It's that five point assignment that says cell phone on it. Um, if you notice right here, uh, there's a little rubric. So when the students put their post next to their post, you will also see a little rubric and you'll click on it. And at that point, you'll be able to grade them right, right, right from here. So you can do it right from here or you could do it within the discussion. OK, so I'm going to cancel that. And that's pretty much it. There's probably other questions that you might want to ask about how to do this. Please feel free to ask me or somebody else who's already doing it. And that concludes our screencast today. And uh, it might be a tool you might want to use with your own students. So let me know if you're interested in finding out more about screencast uh, for, uh, uh, platforms.